here today in beautiful Petaluma, California to talk about one of my heroes, Julia Morgan. I'm Bonnie Spindler with the American Dream, and today we're gonna talk about this trailblazing architect, the different ways that she opened up doors for women's suffrage, and her entrepreneurial spirit. She designed four houses in Petaluma, and we're gonna look at her career through the lens of these four residential houses. So join me on a tour of Julia Morgan's residential homes that exist still today in Petaluma. This beautiful example of Julia Morgan's work behind me has to be my favorite. It's perched on the top of a park overlooking Petaluma, and it was built in 1929. It's a Georgian revival, Cape Cod, and it's made of clabbered. And my favorite architectural detail is the little wraparound porch that has the chinoiserie balcony on it. Here we are at 210 West, which is the newest of Julia Morgan's designs in Petaluma. It was designed and finished in 1935 for A. Aegis. It is an Italian Renaissance villa it's made of stucco and clay tile, and it has beautiful little balconies and wrought iron. It's really a lovely example of the style, and it's fairly unusual for Petaluma. This property is a New England federal style, and we're at 15 Brown Court. It is unique to this area, and you'll notice the whitewashed shingles, the shutters, the pediment over a recessed door, and the shell pattern. It's a really quite lovely example, but you'll notice that all of the properties have a different style, which Julia Morgan got some criticism from. She didn't have a particular style, but she said she designed the houses from the inside out for her clients' desires, and then the styles suggested themselves. This is our final house today. We're at 707 D Street, which is Julia Morgan's oldest home in Petaluma. It was designed in 1911, and it's an interesting combination of prairie, Tudor, and a little bit of arts and crafts. Julia Morgan was born in the middle of the Victorian era, and at a time when most women got married, had kids, and may or may not have finished high school, Julia Morgan was the first woman to get her license for architecture in the state of California. She never married, she never had children, but she had her career and she absolutely loved it. Julia Morgan's first job out of the Ecole was in 1899 for John Galen Howard. He was a very big shot New York architect he joked that he had the most talented, best designer in the business, and he could pay her almost nothing because she was a woman. Because she wasn't being paid well and because she felt her work wasn't appreciated, she left his employ and started her own business in 1903. Her second job as an independent architect was for Mill College. Mills College had her build a bell tower, a campanile, and the library. And she used her civil engineering skills from Berkeley to help design it because she was aware earthquakes could happen in California. When the 1906 earthquake struck, neither of her two commissions were damaged at all, while other buildings at Mills College fell, and of course, large parts of San Francisco. Billy <music> Morgan was given the American Institute of Architects gold medal award after her death. Thank you so much for joining me for this retrospective of Julia Morgan's work in Petaluma. This has been The American Dream. I'm Bonnie Spindler, and I hope you join me again next month.